I've been grinding these portals so many times now, and we finally got one in. Toad, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Anthony Adventures, of course, none other. We're loading into the game, guys, and I've been doing so many of these Merlin portals. It's insane. But you'll see right there in my first unit on my team is Merlin, and we're on my Toad Boy account, and my voice is all of a sudden really high pitch. Yay! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So we got ourselves the new Merlin secret unit finally. Of course, she is from technically the last update, but there she is. Requires 5,000 takedowns to evolve. And look at the bottom right. I re-rolled some stat potentials on her. So I got B, B minus, and B plus. So what I need to do is go over here to the stat potential area. And of course, try to re-roll that to get something better. Like, you know, better pizza, better ingredients, pop the Russo? Yeah, that kind of better. Um, anyways, why did I get stuck over there on that wall? That was like almost kind of perfect. Go over here. Let's talk to Beerus. I know the only thing is, in order to reroll potential, is you need to get like the worthiness up, right? And I did. I got it up to 50%. I'm going to take a quick little screenshot of this because I'm going to reroll this worthiness. It's 52%. We've got B, B minus, and B plus gain. Please don't fail me. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on if you're new, of course. But let's see, with 52%, are we going to be able to get a better Merlin? Guys, comment down below, what do you think? I think so. I think we got the power of God and Anime on our side. You see the God of Destructions right there? This is an Anime game. Yeah, we got the power of God and Anime on our side. Let's go, Merlin, please don't fail us. I need you to be absolutely amazing for me. All right, select Merlin. Reroll all in three, two, one. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think that all went up. So it was 3.4% earlier. So that went up by 6.3%. It was 0.9% earlier, and then it went up to 67 That one right there, the SPA was huge. And then the range went from 4.2 to 6. That was amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that was like totally worth it. But now the moment of truth. This is what matters even more than that right here. We're going to walk over here to evolve our units. And we're going to select our Merlin. You need 10 demonic spellbooks. In order to get the demonic spellbooks, guys, you're going to have to do infinite loads on Fabled. But then you get these portals right here. You get the demon leader portals. And, well, you do them a ton of times. And then that's how you craft your lost veins as well. So you're going to have to do a lot of these runs, okay? But let's go ahead and do this. So pick our unit. Select Merlin. Let's evolve her. I am kind of sad that I have to get rid of 12 epic star fruits. But hopefully we'll get the knack very soon. The rainbow fruits are fine. And then, like these other fruits are fine. But these epic fruits. Ugh, I need more epic fruits. Let's do it. Plus 35% attack and exterminate rate and perpetual court curse gain. Please give us an amazing Merlin. There she is, guys. We got Merlin Infinity. I'm actually really excited like, to test her out now. She is going to be really helpful for me because I don't really have a support team. Um, and so she's kind of going to play that role for me on my team. We do get a perfect stat cubes and three regular stat cubes with the moment of truth. Do we get a really good Merlin or do we get a mediocre Merlin? Three, two, close your eyes, one. Oh no. Wait, I don't even think our stat potentials went up for our support. <laughs> the STA stat potentials didn't even change. But wait, hold on. We go over here, right? We talk to Beerus, reroll stat potentials. <laughs> That's really funny, but hey, at least our range went up. And actually, I lied. Our damage went up from 9 to 16. Our SPA went up from like 6 to 7. And then our range went up from 6 to 8. So you know what? I'm not mad about that. That is pretty good. I can also try to reroll a staff potential on somebody else, I think. Let me see. Who have I been using? Uh, Metal Knight, maybe? Can I reroll Metal Knights? 48%. Eh, I don't like that at all. I don't like those stats. How about you? Can I you do? Nope. Can't do you. Uh, oh, you want to see something really cool? Actually, you guys didn't get to see this earlier, but look at this Frieza. That's right. That is an S. As potential, guys. I don't even know how that was possible, but I did manage to get that. Look, 9.7% on my Frieza is absolutely insane. So, why not go check out what these units can do? Uh, can I do Vegeta yet? 62%? Eh, I can do better than that. I don't think I can, like, potential anyone. Uh, maybe Itachi? 
Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, those are really hard to get. Let's go check out what Lurlin can do for us, and we'll be right back as we go into a quick little, uh, I don't know, challenge or infant loader or something. I don't know. I'll be right back. Well, you're probably gonna guess it that I came to Magic Town, of course, because Magic Town is the best one to show off whenever you're trying to show off characters, right? Well, this really isn't a showcase, but it's the fact that we finally got ourselves our own Lurlin. And you know what I realized? I actually didn't even re-roll her stat. Toad, what are you doing? Like. You didn't re-roll your Merlin before you're like bringing her in? That's crazy, who are you? No, yeah, I didn't do that, it's whatever. There she is, guys. Merlin Infinity is ours, and we've honestly, oh, we forgot to place our farm down. Yep, that's that's what we're doing, I guess. Um, who am I? Am I even Toad Boy Gaming? I feel like a, 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 a nub, a noob. Um, but yeah, there we go. Merlin's doing her part. We're gonna go ahead and get upgrading our farms. We'll do a little quick time lapse, and we'll be back once we can see what Merlin can do for our team. Yeah, that, that's nice with that. That's what we're doing. Okay, time, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot if Merlin can hit airs. So let's see what her place limit was again. Uh, we got one, two, three. All right, we can only place three Merlins, which means, <laughs> obviously I gotta get unique. Wrong! You do not get unique on Merlin, please. If you get unique on Merlin, leave it be and just try to get another Merlin. But you do not wanna get unique on Merlin. As a matter of fact, you probably would want Godspeed, uh, Sniper, or like Divine or something. But yet, here she is. I don't actually have her effects on. Sorry, I forgot to show you that. Yeah, that I forgot. Her effects, her, her effects are really cool. I don't remember if she hits airs though. You see, like flying. Um, let's go ahead and start upgrading one of them. One, two, three, four. She gets Mana Wave, which is actually a really cool attack. And then they get hexed. So that is why I am super excited to get Merlin. Look at that. Plus 30% damage. And the best part of it all is that it stays there forever and ever and ever and ever. Yes, that's right. That is why I wanted Merlin so badly. Upgrade her again and again. And then next, she's going to get the Exterminate Ray. Let's see if this one hits airs. It doesn't look like it does. Let me just go ahead and sell Metal Knight real quick. Yeah, the exterminate it ray still doesn't hit air, so ah, we don't really have anything to kill the airs. Well, we have Metal Knight, but you see what I mean? Like, if Merlin was a like a hybrid unit, oh, she'd be able to kill airs, she'd be able to kill ground units, and she would give us that new hex ability, which would make her absolutely insane. But here she is currently maxed out, guys, with 36 range. And actually, like, her positioning is nearly perfect. That's her circle AE, AOE. And she has a 5.6 second SPA, which is honestly not bad. And she's relatively cheap to upgrade, too. So, all in all, Merlin is a unit that you need to get. And uh, if you don't have her, go grind for her. It'll take you a while, though. This is actually the first time in a very long time that I've gotten a unit like this from uh, doing the portals and everything, because I usually never get the secret units. It's always like a, oh well, sucks to be Toad Boy gaining. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Jalal. I don't have Jalal. I don't have any of the other things except for She Sweet. I have She Sweet for some reason. Anyways, the reason why Merlin is so important to have is because now my Itachi that is unique will do so much more damage with that 30% buff. And she, if you're gonna talk about trade values, oh my god, I look crazy like that. If you're gonna talk about trade values, she's gonna have an insane amount of trade value. Now she's technically easy to get, but like I said, it took me a very long time to get her, so. She'll be very, very worth it if you have her and you don't care for her and you want to trade for her. But I do suggest everyone has a Merlin on their team for themselves. Just, just don't get unique. Don't go for unique. Go for Sniper. Go for Godspeed, but don't go for unique. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys get Merlin soon. I'll be uh, carrying some other people. Some of you guys have actually seen the in uh, public lobbies. I've been like trying to carry as many people as I can. But I'm like, hey, join me in Act 5 and I'll carry you. And then like you guys end up carrying me. But uh, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you like this. I'm going to uh, go to sleep very soon though. Because I've been up for a very long time. And I played volleyball last night, which was really fun. Even though I didn't do well.
but yeah. All right, that's it. Reasons, nieces. Bye.